Alrighty, let's talk about another potential quarterback competition here with the Bears. And this time, is man, oh, man, Justin Fields still being humble as always. We give him credit for it, but uh, nah, nah, be like it's my job. I'm the starter. I know Andy Dalton says I'm the he's the starter, but uh, he's not. He's not. That's what I want to hear out of Justin Fields. Obviously, we're not going to get that. But um, let's see. We get this quote here by Justin Fields, once again, being humble. So here we go. Justin Fields sympathizes with Andy Dalton after being booed at Soldier Field field in loss to the Bills. I mean, uh, uh, um, Andy Dalton didn't do anything in this game. I mean, he had one big throw, and that was it, that went for a touchdown, but once again, he just didn't really do anything. He didn't do anything at the start of the game, and they got down 28 nothing. He was a huge reason why the Bears lost to Mitch Trubisky, the ex-Bear. This was a huge game just to kind of make it a point that said, hey, we made the right decision of getting rid of Mitch Trubisky and bringing in Andy Dalton. But what happened? Mitch Trubisky outplayed Andy Dalton 100%. 100% Andy Dalton could not move this ball offensively at all and they got down 28 nothing and then at that point the game is basically over if you ever get down 28 nothing I would like to see the record on this but I'm gonna assume it's uh you know probably after getting down 28 nothing it's probably if there was 50 games you the that you lost every single one it is fit teams are 50 and zero when tra when leading 28 nothing. I, w I think I'm comfortable in saying that. So, Andy Dalton, I mean, we could just say, oh, yes, it's a preseason game. It doesn't mean anything. Well, it meant something to Mitch Trubisky, and he went out there and did his thing and looked pretty gosh dang good and, you know, was moving the ball, put up 200-plus yards in one half of football. That's basically a whole game's worth of yards that he did in one half. Andy Dalton, you know, you keep saying you're the starting quarterback out here, but you're not putting up any type of points. And the starting quarterback must put up points. I mean, even Matt Nagy went back to Mitch Trubisky last season after benching Mitch Trubisky for Nick Foles because Nick Foles was not putting up any meaningful points. I think he only put up more than 20 points in one, in one game. That was it. Once he did that. So... Andy Dalton, you could say you're the starter, but you're not looking like the starter out here at all. Trash, getting down behind big. That's what you want out of your starting quarterback? So once again, you know, it just brings us back to this point. Why, why would you start Andy Dalton? What can Andy Dalton do right now that Justin Fields cannot? I mean, throw the deep ball? Justin Fields can throw the deep ball. We've seen it. The leadership? Justin Fields looking like an amazing leader out here. We're loving everything he's saying. And we even got a quote here, sympathizing with the starter. I mean, he's got the leadership. He's even got the dual threat ability that we say Andy Dalton has a zero of. So, I mean, Andy Dalton is not a winner in this league. He's like a 10-win quarterback. And 10 wins sounds good. I mean, if your team has 10 wins, you're like, oh, that was a successful season. And I'm not saying it's not, but it's like low wild card spot it's like the last wild card spot gets 10 wins you go 10 and 6 you, you win the last wild card spot 9 and 7 you really don't make the playoffs so I mean what are we doing what are we doing here with Andy Dalton it makes no sense it makes no sense he got outplayed by Mitch Trubisky made Matt Nagy look a little foolish so but let's see what Justin Fields says about Andy Dalton humble as heck so Justin Fields sympathizes with Andy Dalton after being booed at Soldier Field and lost to the Bills. Yeah, they have every right to boo. It's Mitch Trubisky coming back into our home stadium and beating us. Y'all just told us that Andy Dalton was supposed to be better than him. That's why you got him. That's why you moved off of Mitch Trubisky. And he's coming in here and making us look like clowns? The fan base? You let the MVP come in here and beat us? Bad? Big bad? They've got every right to boo Andy Dalton. But Justin Fields comes to his defense saying, quote, The fans are awesome getting me out there, but you also have to realize that Andy is a human being too. I think it's kind of disrespectful to Andy, them cheering my name out like that. So, I mean, folks, it's not disrespectful. This isn't really disrespectful. I mean, people want to say, you know, people want to say, oh, you know, football, you know, is the business side, you know, with the owners and the general managers. Well, it's also a little bit of a of a pride and a little bit of a um, 
business side to the fans. Yes, I'm a fan of this team because, you know, I love this team. We love it. But we expect you to win. I mean, the Bears are like, yeah, I love the Bears. But y'all are telling me Andy Dalton's the answer. And I'm looking at him and he's not the answer. So I'm going to boo him. That's kind of the business side of the fans. It can all be good. The fans aren't going to give you unconditional praise 24-7. Maybe if you're winning, a la Patty Mahomes. I don't think anybody's ever said anything bad about Patrick Mahomes. And same thing with, you know, Tom Brady because they're always winning. So they don't get the booze. And if you keep on winning, you won't get the booze. But Andy Dalton is not winning. This is the business side of the fans. If you want to say that the owners and the general managers can pull the, oh, it's a business side, we can cut this player because it's a business, we can terminate this contract because it's a business. If you want to give kind of the owners and the general managers of a team that pass, you got to give the fans the same pass right there. Yes, we root for this specific team, but if you're not winning, you better be open to criticism because that's what we signed on for we didn't give you all this money buying tickets to your game buying merchandise promoting you online promoting you in real life wearing you know the jerseys putting decals on our cars we didn't do all of that for losses we did that because we want y'all to win and Andy Dalton's not winning here in preseason, not even trying to win. Very, very poorly moving the offense. You're at home, and Mitch Trubisky looks better than you on the road, in your home, his previous home. So I've got no problem with fans booing. Uh, Justin Fields saying like, hey, y'all, keep cheering for me. But this is what Justin Fields has to say. What is he going to say? Yeah, I agree with the fans booing Andy Dalton. He can't say that. We all know how humble and respectful um, you know, Justin Fields has been to this team. So he's saying the right thing. Classic boilerplate. But uh, once again, the fans are clamoring for Justin Fields. Matt Nagy's not going to give the fans what they want. Matt Nagy's on thin ice, folks. We know he's on thin ice. It needs to be a successful winning season. Really kind of have to pretty much win a playoff game for it to be classified as a successful year and keeps Matt, Matt Nagy here one more year with the Bears. But I mean... You're not going to give the fans what they want. And now, you know, here we go. You know, what happens if we go into week four? You guys are 0-3 and, and Andy Dalton's still your starter. What do you do at that point? So, we know Justin Fields is going to start at some point. The fans clearly don't want Andy Dalton. He just floundered in a huge game. This was a pride game between Matt Nagy and Mitch Trubisky. And Mitch Trubisky won hands down in freaking fantastic fashion. Maybe I, I, I kind of changed my tune about Mitch Trubisky. I think Mitch Trubisky should be a starter in this league somewhere. How crazy that I'm saying that now. But that's because Andy Dalton looked so gosh dang bad uh, two days ago during their preseason game. So, Justin Fields, being humble as heck, respectful as heck, has Andy Dalton's back. But what else is he going to say, folks? So, that's where we're at with the Bears quarterbacks. And like we said, you can no longer bet Justin Fields to be the week one starter. That bet is off the board, folks. That bet is off the board officially. DraftKings probably losing way too much money on the bet because of us. So not looking good here. Um, and look at this, Mac Jones to be the week one starter. Odds are coming down a little bit. He's been at plus 250 the entire season, folks, the entire offseason, and now he's at plus 225. So this three-day break, this three-day stretch that he has all by himself to the starters could potentially yield some good results. So a solid play, I would say, right here is Patriots' uh, Mac Jones to be the week one starter at plus 225. So that's pretty solid right there. All right, and we can also now bet on the Denver Broncos, who's going to be the week one starter here. Drew Locke at minus 190, Teddy Bridgewater at plus 130. So pretty close right there between those two. But uh, Justin Fields can no longer bet on him. So take that information of, you know, however you want. Uh, but that's what we got here, folks. Justin Fields coming to the defense of Andy Dalton. All right.
Alrighty, but if you want to see how a quarterback leads, if you want to see how a quarterback leads, we saw it in full display during the Dolphins Atlanta preseason game number two, folks. Tua on the bench, animated as heck, getting up in front of his guys, coaching them up, leading them up, letting it go. Let's go get it done. Let's make this offense as explosive as heck. Let's make sure we're all on the same page during every single play so we can make every single play a touchdown play if we need to. And that's exactly what Tua was doing on the sideline. It was all game, folks, coaching on the sideline. We saw the huge excitement when, you know, they scored a touchdown on a running play and not a passing play. Tua had really kind of no hand in scoring that touchdown besides handing the ball off but he was as animated as anybody he was the first to celebrate with his team um, as they scored that rushing touchdown and now we get him on the sideline coaching up his guys the young guy Jalen Waddle the rookie they got uh, Jakeem Grant on the sideline as well just coaching them up and being that great leader just look how passionate he is here folks look at how passionate he is he's animated he wants the best out of everybody he wants the best for himself he looks like Russell Wilson out here folks I think that's the best comparison leadership wise is Tua is Russell Wilson and we know Russell Wilson's a fan fantastic leader folks you don't come in to the NFL real early on in win like Russell Wilson did if you're not a great leader who are the kind of great quarterbacks that won instantly in this league Patrick Mahomes Russell Wilson Tom Brady why because we know that they're great leaders great leaders at that great you need that great leader at that position at the quarterback position folks and Tua is displaying great signs we just praise Dak Prescott because we're seeing great leadership in hard knocks and now we're getting the same thing here with Tua doing it with the Dolphins so y'all know I love great quarterbacks who are great leaders and Tua is trying to put his name on that list too so we believe Tua can get it done passing the ball we think he's a great quarterback and now he's taking on this leadership role year two with this young Dolphins team and how can you not love it, folks? How can you truly not love it? So this is what I want to see out of Justin Fields. Um, I know Andy Dalton is not doing this. So once again, why? If Andy Dalton was doing this on the sideline, being this great of a leader, maybe I could get Andy behind Andy Dalton of being the starting quarterback. But he's uh, – show me a footage. Let me see. Can I quickly bring up any highlights of Andy Dalton being a leader on the sidelines? Let me see if I can bring this up quickly. Andy Dalton, let me see what your leadership is looking like. Can we bring up leadership? Anybody have videos about leadership on YouTube? Bears fans boo Andy Dalton. Oh, this was the booing yes, uh, two days ago. Let's see. Here we go. All right. this Damn, this video's already got a million views. Shout out to this. Damn. All right. Highlight heaven. So the Bears fans boo Andy Dalton. This was in the second quarter. Eight minutes left. So here we go, trotting back out on the field. He's getting booed here. I mean, they're at home, folks. The Bears fans ruthless out here. They're down 28-0. Mitch Trubisky making this team look like clowns. Here we go in his first throw. It's a deep down the field throw, and it goes for a touchdown. Look at Andy Dalton silencing the doubters. But that's that's the only play. That's the play that we alluded to. This was all that Andy Dalton did this entire game was this one big throw, one-on-one -on -one matchup that was thrown decently. We can see the replay right here. Uh, defender never got his head around. And uh, could have been a pick. Uh, we see, you know, the receiver having to kind of go all the way over the defender to make this catch go over his helmet. So if the defender was kind of looking at this ball, this is a potential uh, pick or breakup. But everything plays out perfectly here for Andy Dalton. So it took Andy Dalton to get booed, to get the motivation, to be down 28 nothing, to get booed. And then he can kind of deliver a solid ball down the field for a touchdown. That's what it's going to take. So, I mean, I just don't get the leadership here. Andy Dalton leadership. Can't really see anything here. Sideline. Should I say sideline leadership? I want to see on the sideline. What are you doing on the sideline? Um, doesn't seem like we're going to be able to get anything. So maybe we're just not searching right, or maybe it just doesn't happen. And I'm going to assume that it just, <laughs> just doesn't happen. Andy Dalton's just not that leader. Just not a leader. So... That's what we get out of Tua. We get it out of Dak. 
You got to love it, folks. If you're not a great leader at the quarterback position, I can't buy into you 100%. I'll buy into you like nine, I'll buy into you like maybe 85%. Um, you know, maybe give that last 15% as leadership percentage. Um, but um, yeah, I, I could still give you 85%, but Andy Dalton's not even close to 85%. I mean, Andy Dalton's at like 20%, I believe in. Um, just pure quarterback. So love me some leadership right here. And to, uh, geez, that's leadership, folks. That is absolute leadership.